Trevor Keegan. This prospect I love. I love everything about Keegan, Trevor Keegan. At 6'5", 310 pounds, interior offensive lineman. Now he played left guard for, for Michigan. He was on that national championship team. Really athletic, really powerful dude. Quick feet, shifty. I love the way I love his approach to the game. He's a nasty player, really physical player, a blue collar. He's the definition of a blue collar athlete. After red shirting in 2019, right? After red shirting in 2019 and only playing five games in 2020 as a backup, he became a starting left guard playing in 44 games and starting in 37 of those 44 games. Got no time in 2019, barely got any time in 2020. Became a starting left guard, played in 44 games, started in 37 of them. So for him to go from where he was into where he, into what he is now, he had to be another player, by the way. He had to be a true student of his craft. He had to be a film junkie. He's as physical at the line of scrimmage as they come. Nasty, nasty player, a real guard. But this kid stayed in the, stayed in the film room. There's quotes out there of him talking about how he had to study himself. How he had to, you know, unlearn bad habits and pick up better ones, you know, changing his body, changing, changing his mentality down to the feet, the hands, how he moved, how he responded to, you know, to DTs. Like this dude became a student of himself. He enrolled in Trevor Keegan University. But listen to this. He allowed zero sacks in 2023. That national championship year where Michigan won it all, finally. He allowed zero sacks. He kept, he kept pers personally, he kept J.J. McCarthy untouched. And he only gave up three sacks in his entire college career. Throughout his entire time playing at Michigan, he only gave up three sacks on 982 pass block reps. On 982 pass block snaps, this man only gave up three sacks. That's not even 1% of the time. If you gave me 982 opportunities to punch you in the face, and I only hit you three times, did I win or did I lose? If, if I gave you 982 times to punch me in the face, did you win or did you lose? So all I'm trying to say is his entire time, 982 passing snaps played on. He only gave up a total of three sacks. That motherfucker is a bodyguard. That brother belong in the Secret Service. I'm going to start calling him Gerard Butler because Olympus has fallen and we need Trevor Keegan. We need Keegan. Get him on the hotline. The president needs your help. <laughs> so Trevor Keegan is the, is the real deal. I'm surprised he fell that far in the draft, but let's be honest. Guards don't get drafted high anyway. But he was a steal in the draft, in my opinion. Let me take it a step further for you guys, right? Let me take it a step further. Did you guys know Trevor Keegan was only penalized six times in over 2,200 snaps? On over 2,200 snaps at offensive line. Did you know he was only penalized six times? Again, that's less than 1%. Not only do you have a baller, not only do you have a student to the craft and a student to the game, not only, not only do you have a bodyguard, but you have a disciplined technician. I'll say it again. Not only do you have a bodyguard, not only do you have a mauler, not only do you have a student to the game, you have a disciplined technician. That brother don't only use bazookas, he use snipers. You feel what I'm saying? He's surgical in a, in a role that's so gnarly. There's nothing pretty about, there's nothing surgical about the offensive line. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. But what I'm saying is, 
as an offensive lineman, for him to be that surgical, for him to be that technically sound, the Eagles got one. So I'm super excited to see what he turns into. I'll take it a step further with y'all. I personally believe, and I heard Lewis Riddick, uh, Lewis Riddick say this. I think it was Lewis Riddick. I, I don't want to misquote him. But the Eagles might have drafted, their, they may have drafted their starting right guard. Remember, you got Tyler Steen competing for right guard. Matt Hennessy competing for right guard. I think we know what Brett Toth is. I think Brett Toth is a, is a rotational guard at best. We know what that is. And the Eagles also brought in an undrafted free agent at guard. His name is Gottlieb Ayadizi. Gottlieb Ayadizi, offensive guard coming out of Maryland. He was, he was projected to go in the fifth or sixth rounds, but fell, fell in the draft. Some had him as the 15th ranked guard. Some had him ranked as the 13th guard and so on and so forth, but he fell out of the draft. And the Eagles snatched him up at guard. So Gottlieb Igadizi is going to be competing for the guard spot as well. But that right guard spot, I think our top three players really competing is Tyler Steen, Matt Hennessy, and Trevor Keegan. And because Trevor Keegan is so technically sound, because he is so comfortable playing that right guard spot, and Tyler Steen is a player that really is a tackle, but they're trying, but they try, they're trying to transition him into that right guard spot. Because he doesn't have the natural guard instincts like Trevor Keegan does, Keegan may have the leg up. But the thing that Tyler Steen has over Trevor Keegan is the NFL level competition he's played up against in his rookie year. And then Matt Hennessy has experience on his side at center, at guard as well. So this right guard competition is going to be so beautiful to watch. It's going to be so fascinating to see what Jeff Stoutland, what Jeff Stoutland pulls out of these guys. Each of these guys has an edge on the next for various reasons. Trevor Keegan may be one of the cleanest Offensive line, pros uh, offensive line prospects the Eagles have ever drafted, maybe in the later rounds. Fifth round or later, he may be one of the cleaner prospects. Now, Jason Kelsey, Hall of Fame center, of course, he came in, but he was a project a little bit. He had to work at it, but he became the starter, obviously, and, and it led to a multi-time All-Pro, multi-time Pro Bowl, multi-time. He, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, right? But as far as that guard spot, right? Trevor Keegan, because he comes in so polished, because he's a winner, he knows what it takes, he's disciplined, he's had time to nix out the bad habits. Could Trevor Keegan, could we have drafted the future at right guard? And could Tyler Steen maybe take over the right tackle spot when Lane Johnson retires? The Eagles will always stay in good shape at that guard spot. Always. They will always stay in good shape in the offensive line because they draft well there. And you know what's so dope about this draft also? Let's follow me here, you guys. You know what's so fascinating about this draft as well? The Eagles didn't draft their first offensive lineman into the fifth round. Now, granted, there were players they wanted, like Cooper Beebe, but he was snatched up by the Cowboys, so they had to trade back. And I'm pretty sure if the board fell differently, they may have drafted the offensive lineman sooner. Situations matter. Circumstances matter. But as it stands, the Philadelphia Eagles didn't draft their first offensive lineman until the fifth round in 2024. They passed up on so – and they could have drafted other guys. They could have drafted tackles, guards, centers. They could have drafted so many guys. But they waited until the fifth round to get their man. They have so much trust in their farm system. They have so much trust in Stoutland University that they will bring in a brother off the street. They will. They have so much. They have so much trust in Stoutland U. They don't turn a rugby player into a pro bowler. They'll turn a rugby player into a multimillionaire. A la Jordan Melada, the Aussie, the rugby demon, the Australian nightmare. So Trevor Keegan, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a player. And I'm really excited for him. I'm excited to see what he turns into.